All right guys, SoCal Marine, another very quick and dirty video here. I am working on a early 70s electro hydro shift Evinrude weirdo engine. Uh, had one spark on the top, now it's dead. Um, so these are the wires coming from the stator. Uh, the two yellow ones are obviously just AC um, to charge the system, uh, the battery basically. It just runs through the voltage regulator and then it has a single brown wire which is currently connected to the pack okay for those of you that don't understand how all this works um, all all the two-stroke outboards and a lot of the the four strokes they all generate AC most of the ignition com systems run off AC power all right the only time you get DC out of this whole thing is after the stator two AC charging wires have gone through a regulator rectifier and then there's there's a red that usually goes to the battery positive which in this case is dangling over there so and that's what charges the system you can disconnect this completely you can take the engine harness apart God has created it such that uh, when you spin magnets around coils of wire you generate electricity and that's all that these things do now there's two inside under the flywheel one is the stator all the stator does is it generates power it does not do anything with timing it literally just supplies juice to the ignition system and as discussed for the battery charging unit now this one has just three wires sometimes they have four sometimes there's a ground wire this one grounds through the bolts so that's just some background basics all right now on this model, um, CDI calls for two specs, okay? The brown wire to the engine ground, there's an ohms reading, and then there's a cranking. You see they're connected and disconnected. Now look at this, this is where it gets really interesting. With the wire connected, alright, to the pack, when they say connected, they mean actually like hooked up as if the motor is running, okay? I'm going to crank this. Uh, you do need a DV adapter. You cannot just use a multimeter. Forget about it. All right. Now, note the, the number I'm getting over there. Let's just see over here. The spec is 150 to 400 volts, uh, despite being disconnected or connected. All right. So I'm going to crank this over, and I will try. It's going to get loud, so I will try and make it short. Okay. Just watch over there. I'm going to get like 1.5 volts. Yeah, that's what happens when you do this with one hand. All right, that was like 1.4 volts. Okay. Now I am doing this a little backwards, but I got 220 earlier when I had this wire disconnected. So I'm quickly going to take the wire off from the pack. Excuse me while I do this single-handedly love to lose these guys okay now this first spec the second one is disconnected all right so it's not disconnected it's free I have my probe is still on engine ground I'm not gonna run this disconnected and just be careful not to have the two uh, AC wires interfering. All right. Let's see what we're going to get. 220 volts. That is a 200 volt drop from the stator when the, with the pack connected. So we go back to our manual here. And it says, okay, we have the star over there. This reading can be used to determine if the stator or pack has a problem. For instance, if you have no spark on any cylinder and the DVA reading is low, disconnect the stator wires from the pack, they should put that in brackets, and recheck. Okay, if the reading stays low, the stator is bad. If the reading is now within spec, the pack is bad. That's how you test your pack. You take a reading with it hooked up, and a reading with the pack disconnected from the stator and if you get a huge difference in your volts uh, like I just did um, 
then the pack is bad. So this pack is bad. I'm going to order a new one for the customer. And uh, yeah, that should hopefully help you guys. Honestly, most outboards follow the same principle. Uh, it's all the same. The spinny guys making juice. If the juice gets to something that's shorting it out, it's going to suck all the juice out of it. All right. That's the principle. And that's why you test it with a wire connected or disconnected. Now, before I go, uh, this was basically just me testing the stator. Um, these are the trigger wires. Okay, the trigger wires go and they hook up to the pack to signal when to fire. So the stator is creating the juice and then inside the stator usually you'll find the trigger has a different magnet set up, it has different wires and all this, the trigger does is it triggers the power to get released to the spark plugs. And so you can test that similarly. But anyways, this was just to show you the relationship between a stator and a power pack and how you can test the two. Now, you might have different color wires. You might have aftermarket, but the principle is the same. I also need to add that, um, you know, all stators are going to come with wires that are just purely for charging your battery. So in this case, it was these two. They were once yellow. They are now something else. Sometimes there's three. Just ignore those completely. All right, they don't matter. They're, they're, they're for the battery. You test these when your system isn't charging. But for a no spark troubleshooting, you're only concerned with a wire or wires that are not all the same, usually. Usually these will all be yellow, or they'll be yellow and white, or they'll be green or something, but they're, they're completely separate. And follow the manual, and uh, yeah, you guys would definitely be able to figure it out. Thanks for watching.